For the past six years, Marvel has consistently released at least three major movies annually. However, that's changing in 2024. Deadpool and Wolverine will be the sole major release from Marvel Studios. Contrary to the comic storyline where Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe, this time, Deadpool might be the one to save it. It's no secret that we are not in the prime MCU era anymore. Avengers! The glory days of the Infinity Saga have passed, and recent box office results and reviews have shown a steady decline. The promise of a Marvel film doesn't guarantee success as it once did. Assemble. There are many challenges facing the MCU, from the absence of flagship characters to shifting audience expectations, partly due to the quick Disney Plus releases that began during the early pandemic. In 2023, Marvel released Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3, and The Marvels. Only Guardians managed to break even. Taking a step back next year could be the right move for Marvel Studios to course correct and allow audiences a breather. The saying, too much of a good thing, definitely applies here, especially when the quality has been inconsistent. Deadpool 3 is already positioned as a critical film. The first two Deadpool movies, produced under the Fox banner, brought a unique vibe that differed from typical Disney fare. They featured explicit humor, violence, self-awareness, and crassness, earning R ratings for their content. These elements are essential to Deadpool's character, and fans have long feared that Disney would sanitize them for a PG-13 rating. Deadpool 3 not only has to maintain the character's integrity, but also carry the weight of three annual Marvel movies in one. It needs to tie up several loose ends and introduce new, compelling storylines to keep audiences engaged until 2025, when Captain America 4, Blade, and Thunderbolts are expected to release. This isn't the first time Marvel has tasked a single film with such a burden. Iron Man 2 expanded Tony Stark's world to include Black Widow, Nick Fury, and S.H.I.E.L.D., with lasting effects on the MCU. Avengers Age of Ultron introduced superhero culpability and characters like Vision and Scarlet Witch, whose importance grew through subsequent films and series. Deadpool 3 has a similar mission, to widen the MCU's world while tying up loose ends. Given Deadpool's playful nature and penchant for breaking the fourth wall, this film could be the perfect candidate for the job. There are numerous fan theories and rumors bolstered by alleged set photos showing nods to past Fox-owned Marvel movies, modern MCU storylines, and future characters. We've seen Marvel successfully incorporate beloved characters into the MCU before, like Evan Peters as Quicksilver in WandaVision, and Sir Patrick Stewart as Professor X in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Deadpool 3 could follow suit, bringing in fan-favorite mutants and tapping into the powerful nostalgia that drives box office success. The early excitement around WandaVision exemplified how much potential there is in fan speculation and the thrill of possibility. If Deadpool 3 can deliver on these wild ideas, it could reignite enthusiasm for the MCU. Marvel's recent struggles have been compounded by leadership missteps, as highlighted by Disney Studio head Bob Iger. His remarks on the failure of the Marvels and the need for more executive oversight underscore a broader issue. Successful storytelling requires authenticity and a commitment to meaningful impact, rather than trying to please everyone or making shallow performative gestures. Think of the cultural impact of Barbie and how it resonated with audiences. If Disney had produced it, it likely wouldn't have had the same authenticity. Deadpool 3 needs to retain its character's unique tone to avoid setting a negative precedent for other R-rated Marvel properties, like Daredevil Born Again. While Deadpool and Wolverine are the only Marvel movie release in 2024, several series will fill the gap. Echo will debut with a full season drop on January 10th, featuring Kingpin and a darker, more character-focused storyline. X-Men 97 will deliver a heavy dose of nostalgia, and the Agatha series will continue the story from WandaVision. We also expect Marvel Zombies and Spider-Man Freshman Year to provide lighter, smaller stories. These series will hopefully keep fans engaged until the bigger releases in 2025. The MCU can't afford to act like business as usual, there are crucial storylines to wrap up and new ones to start, and Deadpool 3 carries much of this responsibility. 
In conclusion, Deadpool 3 is Marvel's best shot at reclaiming its former glory. With love, respect, and a genuine desire for another golden era of the MCU, we look forward to seeing what 2024 holds.